previously there used to be a trend towards uh, engineering and medicine which was a focus areas for yeah. degree students in kerala now we are moving away from that slowly and we are seeing that there's a lot of vacant uh, engineering seats we are seeing that yeah. even students who studied medicine are not getting enough jobs so there has been a, 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 a trend towards people wanting to try out different career option different degrees so that way is how, what are the different alternative paths that uh, options that uh, central university degrees or uh, central university offers them? well the emphasis in the new <coughs> sorry education policy is on flexibility is on diversity and therefore if the policy is implemented in a short span of time a much larger assortment of courses will be available to students so that they can match the courses they choose with their interests and their native yes. native genius um i mean you see the op the diversity in educational opportunities is a product of social change mm -hmm. a society is changing very fast and therefore uh, these frontiers of human development and uh, corresponding to that the courses offered in universities will all diversify uh, uh, for example um if you look at uh, st stephen's college um there was a time when the best thought only of the civil service in the mm. administrative service yeah. and there was a time when this tiny college the smallest college in delhi st stephen's college used to produce about 25 to 30% of the bureaucrats in this country ias ifs people but that's not the trend anymore people are thinking about say um, say um, journalism mm. they're thinking about uh, business administration they're thinking about um, um you see corporate law and um, uh, all kinds of things um so uh, fortunately um the 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 courses offered have become very diverse mm. i mean specialization sub specialization super specialization it goes on and on and on uh, for example if you combine economics with law then it becomes a very potent combination mm. you see our thinking till recently was that you pursue economics and you sort of specialize in economics and at best you end up with a phd in economics mm. but that's not the thinking yes, anymore no. you yeah. combine that for example uh, there was a time when just doing a degree in business management was, was all right now if you can combine engineering with business management what to talk about engineering and business management today the trend is that people from professional courses like law i uh, like in medicine and engineering are entering uh, civil service civil service yeah so things are changing obviously changing uh, and that's a good thing uh, uh, science of change actually proves the vitality of a society and uh, we are entering into a very interesting phase in the domain of education sure. my only worry is that uh, the uh, the wheels of administration in this country do not change <laughs> quick enough to meet these aspirations and these possibilities so that the demographic dividend is actually turned to the benefit of the country yeah. and unless and until we educate the youth of india to the best of our national uh, uh, resources and uh, facilities uh, much more need to be created we will not be able to do justice to the genius of this country